Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Monday, and that means we are using Uval Beat. And this is actually recorded the day of because I wanted Lunar to go ahead and uh, join me, but then he got busy and we were unable to, you know, record. So pretty much, I, you know, I woke up early Monday morning before I had to go to class, and I was like, you know what, Lunar, let's go ahead and uh, record now if you don't mind. And he was like, oh, I'm about Taekwondo, and then uh, by the time he gets back from Taekwondo, you know, I'll be at class and I'll come home, and then the video has to go up. So pretty much, you know, I just gotta do this thing by myself. Not that I can't do it by myself, but yeah. Oh well, you know, it's just vitamin Y. Daily duels are in their hand. It's not very often that I duel with Mendoches by myself. Oh well. But yeah, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. You gotta wake up and just get her done. So you go ahead and go first, trade in, alright. Oh, I'm going against Gushkis. Gush Gushkis. One. Two. Oh, one. Wow, one. It's not very often you just see one background, so I'm normally some I'm getting nice. What? One back row. I mean, Gishkis don't have a lot, generally don't have enough room for a lot of back row. And what they do have enough room for is to try to kick the shit out of you by, you know, doing all their water tricks and shit. Oh, I was gonna draw you bell. I think I got it to the graveyard before she decided to hop my hand, so we got two mass chameleons and a lunar reverse. That's cool. And, uh, Thunderbird, so we got, we got some, we got some, we got some nice plays. Go ahead and just set the limit first and pass to you. Is it MST? End phase, MST. Oh, wow, it's not. <laughs> I totally thought he was just going to be like, end phase, MST. Cause oh, no, no, but you top back it. I would chain then. Because you won the blind space. If only you had that card earlier. If you had that card earlier, you know, you would have no problem right now. Because of that, now you're in trouble. Oh, you want to compulse me? Oh, yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. MST. Call of the Haunted. Compulse. Compulse goes off first. Compulse goes up. Wait. Compulse would go off. Would go. F uh, first in the chain. Which means. You. Would. Would bounce before you bell is summoned. MST call chain compulse. So before I even get the resolve to summon, you already have compulsed the monster. Yeah, that's how it would go, right? You can't. It is in the middle of a chain. By the time you bell is summon, because I go limit verse summon, th that's the end of the chain. That's the last part of the chain. So limit verse summon. No. No. It would go MST target face down. Chain limit verse if you you don't don't play compulse during this time the chain resolves limit reverse would summon you bell then mst would destroy limit reverse you can't interrupt a chain by playing compulse in the middle between when you bell is being summoned. You bell is being summoned at the resolution of limit reverse. You bell is Okay, you can just quit. You can just quit because you don't want to freaking understand Yu-Gi-Oh logic. Yeah. 
I'm just like, fine, I don't want to listen, I just quit, no, I'm not listening, alright, no shit, stay ignorant, you know what, just stay ignorant, you know, I got shit to do today, I don't got the time to sit here and argue, I mean, if you want to have a, whole, a, a nice debate about it, you know, I can inform you, I totally don't mind doing that, but you know, if you don't want to listen to me, you want to be straight ignorant, then fine, that's cool, I didn't want to do you anyway. You know, he can't just jimmy his compulse in between the chain. Because if it was that, it'd be MST, chain limit reverse, chain compulse. Compulse, let your target to bounce. The only monster in the field is Armageddon at the time. Because limit reverse summons that... But you say K and then you leave. This is getting annoying. Because limit reverse summons you bell at resolution. That's where you go, MST, chain my face down limit reverse. Everything okay? Alright, chain resolves. Lim you limit reverse, summon you bell. MST, destroy the limit reverse. Then limit reverse summons you bell in a separate chain, so, you know. Whatever. Whatever. It took me a while. You guys are probably gonna be like, Danny, you fucked up. But no, let me let me get the thing. Don't 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 jump on it yet. Hold on. Let me think. So what the fuck are we going against? Not a lot of decks that still play Gold Sark. Oh, wow, well, okay, you're gonna get rid of him? <sighs> that, so, that was kind of frustrating. I was, I was just like, ugh. I don't have to deal with your ass right now like this. Talk. Any pace two, please give me a revival rival card. Revival card. No, it's not a revival card. Revival card. No, it's not a revival card. Revival card. No, that's not a fucking revival card. <sighs> uh, I guess I'll get the fucking MST though. I know I'm going against fucking chaos dragons. That's the point. Yeah. And. I just wanted a revival card. We run three calls, three limit verse, three mass chameleons, a debris dragon, just one. Just one. That's all I asked for. Just one. Where are you, fucking rabbit? Hey, why can I pot and get that limit verse? Pass to you. Damn. Oh, this is going shittily already. Heretic? Heretic? Oh, it is Herotics. I thought it was Chaos Dragons, but it's Herotics. But you banished your... your Redum. It's weird that you banished your Redum. That you wanted to use him. Ah, this guy's going harder than a motherfucker. Alright, I'm done, because he's just going to make a fucking Draco sack. I'm going to lose, so... I can't get around a Draco sack, not with that hand. And that's why heretics, or heraldics, are annoying, because they throw everything in the fucking kitchen sink at your damn ass. Way too fucking aggressive for my taste. I don't like those kind of decks. I like to take the deck, the duel is nice and slow. You know, enjoy the duel. Think of strategies, etc., etc. Not, you know, fucking just jizz all over your fucking opponent with fucking cards like that. Almost, I mean. Alright. At least this hand is good. If I can do something with this hand. But, God. I get one turn, I summon Armageddon, and I all of a sudden he's like. GG! I am, hmm. Mm-hmm. You're just lucky that I wasn't using a deck with back row, because I'm not trying to be a dick. Even Yuval Beat doesn't have back row. I actually took it out, so. And that's one of the dickiest decks in all of Vimin Y, so. Yeah. So, this deck does not have any back row. I think the only back row-ish card it has is Book of Moon, because I couldn't think of anything else. I was like, fine, Book of Moon, you can be in the deck. I don't care.
one back row. Uh, Reptile Gorgon. Okay. That's fun. I don't mind him being zero attack. It's not like I can't XC with him or anything. How does this do? Oh, okay. That card's not terrible. Yeah. I don't space just because I have plays to do. Magical cylinder. Alright, alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon Masculine. Fact. Alright. So who the fuck should I see him to? Probably just, you know, King of Feral Imps. Fuck it. I get King of Feral Imps and get me another Mass Chameleon. You know how much I like getting Mass Chameleons to my hand, so fuck it. Mass Chameleons are awesome. They bring back you, Bell. Searchable card that brings back you, Bill. I can roll with that. I'll kill one of your tokens. Pass to you. Like I said, you want to take another one of your damn monsters and ram it into me? I really don't care. I just now don't know what I'm going against. A fucking uh, Reptiliane deck, so. Oh, that's so inconvenient that you bought zero attack. You could summon that one girl by fucking sending us both. That would be annoying. That would be really annoying. Just because you can do it, just because I happen to be in zero attack as well. Oh my god, that'd be a pain in the butt. You'd be like, send my token, send you you bell, summon this? Like, fuck, alright. Did you banish a monster? Banish. Okay. Say, so you put the alert to the graveyard after it resolves. So you go alert, draw two, banish, then it goes to the grave. So what you just did made it just look like you're cheating, so. Oh, sure, you can have it. You can have my U-Bell, I don't care. Sure. Go ahead, I do not care. Turn you about to attack. I don't give a shit. So I'll go ahead and get my effect. I mean, that was stupid. You, you mean, you... Mm -mm. Don't take... Never take... Take you about. Ever. Because, literally, I'm going to attack him. He's going to take the damage, and then I'm going to get the effect, because I'm the owner of the card. So... Because it resolves in my graveyard, so that was that was that was not smart. Not even not even remotely smart. Actually it was just really, really dumb. So I would just proceed to kick the living shit out of my opponent. I will summon Thunderbird. I will go ahead and have you attack you. You take all the fucking damage, all sixteen fifty. We will have you attack you. You'll be taking 23. Take 23. Go ahead. Take 23. The effects are negated. Mask million. Read Mass Chameleon. So I summon the target fate defense and the effects are negated right there. That's why I was like a dumb. You take 23. I will get the effect. So thank you for that. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
And that's why you don't take my Ubel. Because you're, it's just going to give you pain. So much pain. And agony. And pain. And despair. And pain. And pain. So much pain. Yes, it resolves in grave. Uh, you better check the bird. So I'm gonna oh, banish. You're dead. And the token's dead. Yeah, don't don't take it. It, it was cute. It was cute because you know you, you were telling me I brought take it, but don't no, don't don't. Don't. You like to take my monsters because I have zero D, but don't. Just don't. Don't do it. Do not summon another reptilian viper. Do not take my Ubel. Because I shit you not, I will get rid of my Ubel. I will get rid of my Ubel. And then you know what? Yeah, I think I will just get Ultimate Nightmare, depending on how I get rid of it. So, just don't. Just don't. Even if you, even if you have my Ubel, don't turn it to attack. Don't do it. Ubel likes to be in defense. One on one is a thing. What's up? Uh, what's up? Chain. You still pay the cost to activate your effect, but I'm gone. So thank you. Thank you, come again. Thank you for necking yourself. You neck, you neck so hard. You touch no my thunder, but you eat a dick. That's some creepy shit. <laughs> right, so now what you going to do? You just you just end turn and turn you end turn. I, I I destroy you. I destroy you. I white field. Yes, yes, yes. I summon. This guy is weird. <laughs> Talking about you, Bell walking in his forest. What kind of fucking metaphor analogy bullshit is that? Oh, fuck, Chain Thunderbird. Oh my god, I can't type. So, you can go ahead, get, go ahead and get wiped. I'm gonna get out of here, right? It's cool. Now oh, it's my turn. I'll summon back Thunderbird. And he also has 1950. I put the counter on just to remind me that he has 1950, because if I don't, I'll probably forget. I don't trust myself. <laughs> okay, sure. Did you? Oh, he left before I could say it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Plague Licious Bell. Thanks for watching.